Well, officials say they're not seeing a lack of interest. They've had a lot of capital dollars donated funding projects like this brand new children's exhibit that hasn't even been open to the public. The problem is they don't have the money for the overhead. From Joe Diffie to Ronnie Dunn to Toby Keith. To Ron Boren knows the story behind each of the 65 artists inducted into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. Oklahoma just has such a rich musical heritage. Now that the museum and Hall of Fame is suspending operations, Boren is out of a job. He's one of the two full-time staff members who are now on unpaid leave. This has been our life, and you know, we're a family down here. Board members say this wasn't an easy decision to make. It hurts. It hurts. It affects people that who work here. It affects the people who come here to visit. But they didn't have any choice. They've had several big donations in the last few years, especially from the City of Muskogee Foundation, but that doesn't mean they have the money to keep the museum up and running. Those are specifically for capital projects that we can't use that money for operations. Which means even though this new children's museum was just completed, there's not enough money for electricity, gas, and employee salaries. The earliest the museum will be back up and running is July. Boren hopes this is just a temporary problem so he can get back to sharing his passion for music. And this is the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. We have to remind people that it's not the Muskogee Music Hall of Fame. And uh, once again, just very few states have what we have. We have such a worldwide legacy. And I'm proud to be Board members, the annual induction ceremony is still scheduled to happen this fall. In Muskogee, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.